New at 6, we are learning more about the Chico Housing Action Team's future housing complex for people with disabilities. Action News Now reporter Camille Acevedo shares the vision. We're going to be taking people off the street that really need these facilities. This is the site of CHAT's newest and future project. Although it is completely empty right now, this is what CHAT envisions it to become. It's been in the works for four years. And just recently, CHAT received a $16.5 million state grant to help make it a reality. And an anonymous donor donated five acres of land on Highway 32 to get the ball rolling. The 66 units will be ADA compliant, providing a level of independency for people with limited mobility. Whether they have a disability from, from birth, or an accident, uh, old age, mental. So we have a, a real broad range of people that need these kind of services and we'll have them here. One of the founding members, Bob Troush, shares with me just how excited Chad is to get started on this new project. But he also shares with me how meaningful this specific project is for him and his family. I had a son that was seriously dis mentally disabled. Troush was able to provide his son with a safe home and recognizes the larger need for places that are ADA compliant in the county. His son passed away due to his illness. That was when Troush knew he had to make a change. He was aware of his illness. He was aware of how the impact on him, the impact on our family. So for me, it's, it's a grace to be able to have this and know that this is going to be built out and know the number of people that we can get in here and bring them services to make them be successful and maybe have a long life. The project is in the early stages right now. Troush says it will be a while before we see them break ground. He says right now they are meeting with the county, they are meeting with architects and engineers as well, and they still need to bring water to the site. In Butte County, I'm Camille Acevedo for Action News Now. Trosh tells Action News Now that CHAT plans to provide social services and food deliveries to the site for the people who live there.